So I have found the best controller settings for the new Fortnite Chapter 5. With these settings you can edit fast and be consistent with your edits. I have tried out a lot of different settings this season and these are my favorite settings so far. So I'm gonna show you my settings and fully explain them to you so you understand what these settings do. And these settings will also help you reduce your input delay especially if you play on console or controller. Also I just released my brand new free building map. This is the perfect map if you want to practice with my new settings. And this is a private free building map so it has zero input delay. This map also has custom crosshairs. There's also music and there's also speed and slow motion mode. And it has 5 OG backgrounds that look super clean. And this map also gives you XP so you can max out your battle pass. So come try the map out for yourself and let's get into the settings. Okay, I'm gonna show and fully explain my settings to you. So starting off, 120 FPS mode on console, you definitely need this, but you can only get this on next-gen consoles. And to get this, you need to have a monitor that supports 120 FPS mode. For my brightness, I use 150%, and for my colorblind mode, I use Tritonope on 6. Also, make sure to turn off motion blur, because motion blur gives you more input delay, and it also gives you motion blur, and it kinda can mess with your view, and it's harder to see enemies. I turned off show FPS, and I also turned off performance stats. Moving on to the audio settings, this is nothing special, I just turned off my music so I can hear the enemies in game, and I also turned off dialogue audio. Also make sure you have visualized sound effects on, this makes it way easier to hear your opponents especially when you're playing in game. For the game settings, first of all make sure your matchmaking region is set on auto or the closest region next to you, so mine is Europe, this will give me the least ping possible and it will reduce my input delay. For the movement setting, toggle sprint, I have this on, this allows me just to press my sprint button once and I can just keep sprinting. I don't have to hold my sprint button the whole time, which makes it way easier to move around the map. Auto open doors, I have this on because this will allow me to automatically open doors when I mess up my free builds. So sometimes you will edit and make a door on accident, but if you make a door on accident, you can just run straight to it and keep building. Mantle activation, I have this on hold to jump, not hold forward, because I don't want the mantle on accident when I'm actually going for a peak shot. So if you have a right hand peak and you don't want the mantle, if you have this on hold to jump, you want mantle on accident. Alright, so for the combat settings, hold to swap pickup, I have this off. This allows me just to quickly swap weapons off the ground. Toggle targeting, just have this off. Mark danger when targeting, I just have that on. And auto pickup weapons, I have this off because I just don't want to pick up any random weapons and ruin my loadout when I'm playing the game. My preferred item slots, you can copy my item slots. This is pretty standard, having the shotgun in the first slot is always the best. And having the AR in the second or an SMG is also the best way to play the game. My third and fourth slot are heals. And my fifth slot depends what I'm rocking in game so usually it's a sniper or a movement item like the shockwave grenades. But this season I have been using the snipers a lot. These four building settings are very important especially on controller. Reset building choice, make sure you have that on. Disable pre-edit option, I have this on but a lot of people have this off. I have it on because I build and edit a lot and I don't want to mess up my builds. Turbo building, make sure you have that on. Auto confirm edits, make sure you have this on both. This will allow you to confirm your builds with one click, you don't even have to confirm your edits. And this also allows you to reset your builds super fast. So moving on, tips, I turned off tips, I just don't need any tips popping up when I'm playing the game. For these extra options, just copy everything here, but make sure you have tap to search on. This allows you just to press your square button once and you don't have to hold to open a chest. And also make sure you have low input latency mode on if you play on console. This will reduce your input delay and let you edit faster. And also turn off all the replays because replays also give you input delay. Moving on to my reticle settings, you can copy this if you want big damage numbers when you're shooting someone in game. Make sure you have the damage numbers on list and the hidden icons and make your damage numbers the biggest scale possible. And my HUD scale, I use it on 65% or 70% usually. I don't like when my HUD scale is super big and I like to have it smaller so I can see my game more clearly. These gyro options on console, I don't know if they are on PC, but on console just turn everything off. Gyro options can give you more input delay because it's just extra settings that you have on so just turn everything off so you can reduce input delay. Same goes with keyboard settings if you don't play on keyboard. If you play control just turn all the keyboard settings off. Okay, so for the controller settings, make sure you have controller auto run on. Build immediately, have that on, it allows you to build faster. Edit hold time, make this as low as possible, which is 0.1 second. This allows you to kind of edit faster. And my slide hold time is on 180. This is because I don't want to slide on accident when I'm actually going for a crouch shot. So I can spam crouch and I'm not gonna just slide on accident. If you make it low as possible, you're gonna slide on accident. Reset camera, just keep it on pitch and reset camera time, make it 
it as low as possible. Also, make sure to turn off vibration. Vibration can mess with your aim and your edits if your controller is just shaking. For the quick weapon settings, I don't use these because they actually give you more input delay and I tried them and I didn't like it. Okay, so for my sensitivity, first of all, turn off advanced options and put the first two on one. This will make your aim way smoother, trust me. And then you just turn it back on and you can go back to the advanced settings. This is a secret a lot of people don't know. That's why I always have these first two on one and then I just go back to the advanced settings and I edit the normal settings like usual. So for these settings, I have the build mode and edit mode on two. This is a pretty balanced sensitivity and I have my look and horizontal speed on 30%. With these settings, I can be fast and consistent with my edits and my aim is also crazy. If you watch any of my videos, you can see that my aim is crazy. People think I'm cheating sometimes. I also turned off all the boosts because boosts can just mess with your aim and we want to be consistent with our aim. And if we have boosts on, we're not going to be consistent. For my ADS speed, I have this on 9% both. This allows me to hit all my AR shots. And also with the snipers this season, I am crazy with 9%. I get so many headshot snipes, these settings are crazy. And if you didn't know snipers, are super OP this season. And for my ADS turning boosts, I also turned off all the boosts. And I also turned off look dampening time. I just want to be consistent. I don't want any boost or any dampening. The input curve I play on is linear. Linear is super easy to learn and it's just a good input curve. For my dead zones, I play on 8% and I don't have any stick drift, so I can play on 8%. If you have stick drift, just make it a little bit higher and try to make it as low as possible so you don't have any stick drift. You want to have your dead zone as low as possible till the point you don't have stick drift. If you play on the PlayStation and 5, turn off all the adaptive trigger settings. If you have this on, it makes it way harder just to play the game. It's very hard to press the trigger, so just turn these settings off. For my keybinds, I play right hand claw with no paddles. So I'm just gonna go through my keybinds slowly, and if you want, you can copy my keybinds. I jump with X and I edit with triangle. I switch to my builds with my left stick, and I crouch with my right stick. I sprint with the touchpad. It's just right hand claw settings. I've had these binds for like months now. So if if you want to learn claw so if you want to learn claw you can copy my binds right here and you can just go and practice in my new free build map so if you want to learn claw just copy these key binds a lot of people think claw is super hard to learn but actually it's pretty easy and when you learn claw you will become so much better at the game so yeah that's gonna be it for the settings i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe if you did we're almost at 200 000 subscribers guys so thank you so much for all the support if you want to practice free building go into my new map i just made it literally to day and it's a super clean zero delay map so yeah that's it and i will see you guys next time